hello guys chef eric here and welcome back to the channel and today it's a whole new video and we're gonna be making this delicious oreo cake with a stunning oreo sponge some delicious swiss meringue buttercream and topped up with some delicious oreos so stay tuned and let's get started so step number one to start to grease your two six inch pans yeah i'm using six inch pans because it's like a one kilo cake but if you did an eight inch to just be a little bit thinner but it would still look fine so i just want to grease them up with some margarine or some oil and just want to align the bottom with some parchment paper we do this because we're using oreos and they might just stick stick so just to prevent that use some parchment paper next up we can start to make our oreo cake batter so in a large bowl you just want to sift over some flour and some baking powder and just give that a really good mix until it's fully incorporated set that aside and you can now start to work on our eggs so in a small bowl you want to crack in four small to medium to large sized eggs into a small uh, pan with a bowl with a little bit of vanilla and set that aside in the meantime we can now get our stand mixer out and with the paddle attachment we're gonna add in some margarine i just wanna whip that up for with some sugar for a couple of minutes just until it's looking super light and fluffy and uh, it's white and pale halfway through you just might need to scrape down the bowl with a spoon just to get any edges of uh, margarine that might not be fully incorporated once it's all nice and white you just want to add in your eggs one at a time once that's fully incorporated add in your flour mixture a spoonful at a time and wait until each spoonful is fully incorporated before you add the next once that's done add in your warm milk in intervals so um add one third of the dry half of the milk another third of the dry the other half of the milk and the last third of the dry just gonna make sure your butter is evenly incorporated and form a really beautiful cake and fully emulsified so once the cake butter is done it will look luscious and smooth and delicious you probably want to lick it out of the bowl but resist from doing so otherwise you legit have a small cake but anyways once that's done we can now start to prep our oreos so for this i'm just using um oreo originals not double stuff not nothing just basic oreos and you could add any cookie to this baby if you have some if you want, like your favorite it could be chocolate chip cookies it could be ginger cookies whatever cookies you like or uh, you could totally add to this so just want to take them out and chop them up into some fine pieces and some large pieces don't exactly to use a blender or just use your knife to make sure we have some variation in the sizes of cookies so to have a nice and beautiful layering of uh, oreos so to the oreos when i add in a little bit of flour to make sure they don't all sink to the bottom of the cake so make sure you do that i want to add in your oreos into your cake batter and gently fold that in until it's all fully incorporated if you do this a little bit um too vigorously you might knock out all the air we worked so hard to develop so be very careful once your butter is ready, you just want to divide it evenly between the two 6-inch pans. You could use a weighing scale. Your eye, if you're a really good chef, or I, I did, I used uh, an ice cream scoop. I just want to level them out and bake them at 180 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're fully baked. I'm sorry, but all my decorating videos end in at night. So in the videos today, I'm really sorry. I make sure I stop this behavior. So next we're gonna make a swiss meringue buttercream so in uh, the bowl of your mixer you want to combine some uh egg whites and some sugar until it is nice and uh, mixed together you want to place it over a double boiler and just gently keep mixing it until the sugar fully dissolves to test if the sugar has dissolved you just want to take a little bit of the mixture and gently fill it with your hands if you don't feel any sugar crystals it's done it's ready and it's complete and the bowl of water should be just gently simmering not too hot not too cold if you feel it getting too hot or starting to get chunky get it off the heat you've probably ruined it but make sure you do not cook your egg whites please for the love of god don't cook your egg whites so once it's nice and warm just wanna whip it on a relatively high speed just until it's looking super light and fluffy and also the mixture cools down completely to room temperature otherwise you're gonna mess up this, the rest of the steps so once it's all nice and fluffy and cooled down, make sure it's cooled down otherwise the butter will melt. I just want to gently add in a tablespoon of butter at a time. And take a moment to admire that beautiful meringue uh, stiff peak. So um, once it's nice and fluffy, when I just gently start adding butter a tablespoon at a time or two tablespoons at a time until the one is incorporated, add the next. And the next is incorporated, add more. 
don't dump all your butter in at once just want to make sure you're able to regulate the buttercream so that it comes out super light and fluffy and absolutely delicious so make sure you do not mess up a step now if you don't want to mix with meringue buttercream uh, my mom found it a little bit too oily too fatty i'm still trying to figure out since uh the merry christmas the christmas two-tier christmas cake i did the other day if you haven't watched that video please go check it out it's amazing i'll leave a link down in the description box below once your buttercream is ready add in some salt and some vanilla i was saying if you don't want to use this meringue use whipped cream or any of your favorite buttercreams i'm not forcing you to use this one so um once all your components are ready i usually freeze my cakes as you guys know just to make sure they're nice and hard when i'm decorating them so we'll take our first layer and wrap it from the cling film my cakes kind of sunk in the center but like let's hope all is well on the inside and thank god it was so I just sliced off all the tops of these cakes and uh gently doused them in a little bit of simple syrup just to make sure we have some nice and moist layers so uh layer number one we go in with a little bit of swiss meringue buttercream at the bottom and then first cake layer simple syrup some buttercream in the middle just to make sure we have you can put as much or as little as you'd like if you like customers who like thin or you have people who like a lot of buttercream up to you man figure out the kind of people you have and then you can add on the next layer of cake but this time you want to add it upside down so that you have like a flat surface to work with so it's extremely easier douse it with more simple syrup over the top make sure it's really really so this is gonna make sure the cake remains moist for as long as possible douse a little bit of cream at the top and you want to start giving this cake a crumb coat so um gently start to apply buttercream all around the cake a little bit at a time just until you have a nice and even thin layer just to make sure all the crumbs are beautifully locked in and you'll have an easy time doing our final layer pop it into the freezer for like 20 30 minutes and then you can do the last layer of the final layer of frosting pour on a lot of buttercream at the top and gently start to spread it out and smooth it down the sides just until you have a nice and even layer now my buttercream might look white but it's a little bit misleading um it was a little bit yellow at the beginning so i added some purple food coloring just a few just a little bit just to counteract that yellow color so if you're making this buttercream with butter make sure you add a little bit of purple food coloring to get this stunning white color so um gently spread that buttercream all around the cake since um the the cakes themselves are really cold and hard the this top layer is gonna solidify very quickly so it will be so much easier for you to decorate and to smooth out beautifully fill in every, any crevices and make sure you get it really nice and smooth once it's nice and smooth chill for another 10 to 30 minutes and then you can now add our ganache drip I've shown you guys how to make ganache drips a billion times. I don't think I need to do this again. But if you don't know, it's just equal parts cream and uh, chocolate, which I add together and microwave just until you have a nice and smooth chocolate, uh, I think sauce. It's very popular, different things. If you guys want to know how to make it, I've had a ton of videos. I'll leave them down in the description box below or up in the corner above here. So go check them out. Once you're done with your, your beautiful drip, if you'd like to know how to do the drip, check out my cake decorating 101. It's a great video. I'll leave a link up here. So go check it out, please. It's really helpful. Want to pipe over some rosettes and top it off with some fresh Oreos and you're done. That's it. This cake is amazing. It's delicious and you're going to love People are going to love it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week for a brand new video.